Hi, my name is Simone and I live in Phoenix, Arizona. An existing problem in my community is the ozone layer decreasing. In Arizona, this is really important because it's one of the hottest states in America. The ozone layer decreases from air pollution and the heat in Arizona makes things worse to the point where Phoenix was voted number five for worst air quality in America. One way we can solve air pollution through science is to ride a bike, to roller skate, walk, or any of those things to wherever you need to go, basically driving less. This will not only help the pollution problem, but it will make people exercise more and get more vitamin D, which comes from sunlight. And of course, we can still use cars for getting to far destinations or for emergencies, but for things like going to school, the mailbox, or somewhere near, we can get some time spent outside instead of in a car. In other words, why pollute the air and cause health problems and harm our crops, which can happen due to pollution, when you can get some exercise and sunlight, which, according to Pathways Health, can boost your serotonin levels, making you happier. Another way we can fix air pollution is to stop littering and to recycle. According to National Geographic, most businesses and consumers use CFC, which is found mostly in plastic products because they're inexpensive. But CFC is hurting our ozone layer, meaning plastic is too. Texas Disposal agrees with this and adds that littering can also cause air pollution because more than 40% of the world's litter is burned into the air, which is then releasing the CFC out in the open for us to inhale and the ozone layer to be destroyed by. So with all this being said, how can science make a difference in your community?